Can you believe that this Instagram influencer is making $10,000 every single month and she doesn't even exist? Now, if you've been on social media recently, you would have noticed that we are seeing more and more influencers like these. The ones that have these incredible followings, but if you look really closely, you would actually see that they are not real. They are generated using AI and this business model is making them tons of money. And how you may ask? Well, it's because they are securing brand deals for a fraction of the cost. Models like these are actually getting paid even though they don't exist. Brands are still working with them and the person behind the account is making so much money. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to create your own AI influencer from scratch. We are going to be using only one AI tool, then this business will be ready to launch. And the tool we'll be using is Open Art. And if you wanna check it out, then it's the first link in the description below. Hello guys, but right now let's create our AI influencer so that we can start making some serious cash. Let's get into the first step. So guys, in order to create our influencer, the first thing that we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to get some references. So guys, we are going to head over to pixels. And then guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in influencer over here. So guys, what you'll notice is we aren't exactly getting the examples that we want. So we're gonna have to refine the search just a little bit. So I'm gonna put in this right over here and now as you can see guys our results are much better and let's see this one guys this is our one right over here yeah this is the perfect one that we're gonna be using for our AI influencer and now it's time for us to go over to our next tool so now guys you're gonna head over to open art and then you're gonna go to this section right over here where it says characters you're gonna click on characters guys then you'll see you have three different options you have start with four images start with one image or start with a description now since we already have our person we're gonna start with one image so the name that we're gonna be using let's let's make her name Amy and then we're gonna drop this image right over here and then we are just going to create our character and as you guys can see it takes 2,000 credits in order to create this character then guys just gonna wait a couple of minutes and now Amy is complete and now since Amy is complete it's time for us to put her in some images so guys we're gonna click on Amy we're gonna click on create and then you'll see guys that we actually have some quick templates we have prompt and reference, we have pose your character and also we have place your character in an image. So guys, the one thing I love about open art more than a lot of the other tools is that open art really does make a lot of the processing so easy for you. They make it so simple so that you can create high detailed, incredible content every single time. So now guys, back to Amy, we are gonna click on place your character in an image and I'm just gonna show you guys one quick little example just to show you like what you can do. So guys, I'm gonna put this image over here. This is the one that also I just got on pixels which is a beach and then guys you can just place Amy wherever you want her to be in the image now you can make the smaller but I think having her in half or let's say three quarters of the image is just going to be perfect so we're just gonna put that placing over there and our character is already down so we're gonna put in a prompt I'm gonna use this one where Amy is drinking an energy drink on a beach in Spain and then guys just gonna make sure that the prompt adherence is around 35 and also the weight we're gonna leave that at 1.2 and then we're just gonna click on create and we're gonna wait just a few seconds and then we will have our first image so guys as you can see this is our first image that we created of Amy it looks exactly like the example that we gave and the nice thing is we could place her perfectly in this image and guys I would actually say this image is almost perfect that most people wouldn't actually notice that this was an AI image unless you look really close at the lines around her head if you look really closely there you'll see that there is a little bit of a glow on her so that if you look at that that's probably the only thing that you would notice this, but overall it's still incredible but I'm gonna show you guys how we can make it even better and also using a simpler method. So guys, to make it even better, what we are gonna do is we're gonna go back and we're gonna click on prompt and reference. So we're gonna leave the prompt exactly the same where she is drinking an energy drink on a beach in Spain. Then we're gonna make the weight just a little bit lower at 0.8 and then we're gonna make sure that the aspect ratio is on portrait so that we can get the perfect image for social media. And then guys, we're just gonna click on generate and in a second or two, we are going to have our image of Amy. So guys, the images are complete and take a look at these two. So these are the two images side by side guys and you will notice that Amy looks so much better. The image looks so much more clean because they weren't using the exact example of the background image. They could actually create the background for us. As you can see, this is a beach in Spain. As you can see, they have Amy in complete focus with a blurred background and the drink that she has in her hand 
that looks ready to basically put any energy drink that we want and we could actually turn this into a brand deal overnight. And guys, the best part is we created this in just a few seconds. So guys, it just goes to show that this method is a lot more simple, but the results are incredible. So guys, that was just the first one, but I actually went so far as to just add in a lot of different other prompts just to show you guys how incredible open art is at putting all of this into a singular image. And guys, take a look at these results. Every single one of these is absolutely amazing and ready to use on any brand image. You could put this on an Instagram feed and no one would be able to tell that this is an AI person. Yeah, we have her going for hikes, we have her going to the gym, we have her posing in the for a selfie and also we even have a playing with a dog she even has a shot where she is eating some pizza and the nice thing is guys if you are planning on running this as a business you could turn this into a whole lot of branded content that you could then use to send off to brands and you could actually be making money with this as time goes on and guys this is a prompt where I actually asked for her to be posing with a couple of friends on a night out and guys it even went so far as to create the background people it went so far as to create friends and even even in the one where she is drinking matcha tea in a coffee shop, you can actually see the barista right behind her. And that is just the cool thing about using open art, guys. Open art just makes all of this so easy where all you have to do is just type in a little bit of a prompt. You have to give it a character and you can create images like these. And based on the amount of credits I still have, guys, I can create hundreds of these images. I can fill it all up on an Instagram feed and I would actually be able to draw in clients like this and many people will not even know that she does not exist. So guys, remember if you are keen on checking out open art for yourself, then it is the first link in the description below. And I mean guys, this all started when I was taking a look at this feed right over here. This is one of the most famous AI influencers in the world, Aitana Lopez. And when you take a look at her content, you'll notice that you are seeing her doing different kinds of things. So she's always doing an activity and then there will be a random brand thrown in there. So this is the type of content that we can create on open art if we just sit and we actually put in all of the prompts. All we have to do is just take Amy and we just have to be more specific about the clothes that she's wearing, the things that she's doing and then we can have content like this. So as you guys can see creating an AI influencer is a whole lot easier than you thought and using open art you can do that guys. So guys, let me know what do you think about the new revolution of AI influencers. Guys, I wanna know what your thoughts are about this revolution and also guys, what do you think? Are you going to start an AI influencer channel and hopefully make a whole lot of money? And guys, while you are down there dropping those comments, also give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And guys, don't forget you can catch me next time right here on Zinho Media.